What's up everybody? It's Justin here at SK Greenhouse and today I'm actually fixing up my wife's planters for fall time. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and excuse all the landscape fabric uh, around the house. We're actually having some new landscape beds installed and I'm going to be doing videos, a series of videos on me landscaping the front of my house. So that is to come. But for this video, we're going to deck out these planters for fall. And right off the bat, if you just notice, we got a humongous uh, planter because our porch is really tall. So we got these big, tall black planters a couple years ago, just to kind of highlight the rails, bring out the black accents. That's kind of the theme we got going on. With no further ado, let's jump right in. So we just pulled out all of her summer stuff. And what I've done is I've added uh, some mushroom compost and some fresh potting soil, uh, a layer of probably about eight inches deep. I like to freshen up my soil every time I'm redoing planters. So first things first, I do that. And then I did some late night shopping down at the greenhouse and we've got all different great plants for fall that's gonna last through the fall and all winter long. So our centerpiece is gonna be this red rooster Carex grass. It's gonna go right in the middle like so. And then for our spiller, We've got some Creeping Jenny. This is a good old standby for fall. It really brightens things up. And when it runs down this black planter, it looks amazing. We, we do this combination a lot. We just put out the old Creeping Jenny. It had like a root ball on it the size of my head. It was time to put a new one in. So now we're going to do some ornamental cabbage. And you'll find these this time of year at your local garden center. Um, but they're not going to have a lot of color on them because it's been warm and until these nights cool off and it's not so humid The colors aren't really going to come out, but when it cools off This is going to be purple and we're going to put it nice and uh, front and center there like so and Then we have wave pansies. These are relatively new. This is a wave pansy is kind of like a wave petunia these are a trailing form of pansy and it's going to go in the back corner here and it'll also trail off this black planter and that's just going to look really nice it, that that anytime you can add like yellows or golds against black it's just going to highlight and look good and then finally one of my favorite perennials this is coral bells another name is hookra you're also going to find these this time of year at your local garden center because well, they're evergreen. They last through the fall. They last through the winter. They'll even last in the spring. They're evergreen. They're year round. They're even going to bloom next year. So that's pretty cool too. But these are really good in a landscape or a container. And since this part of the house is going to be a little bit shaded, I'm going to tuck him in this back corner. And then voila, we have stuffed five plants in this container. Nothing really left to do, but Let's get started and plan it. One thing I like to do on my containers is I don't fill it all the way up to the top at right at the beginning with pot and soil. I like to leave a little gap so I can Put my plants in and then pack the extra soil around my plants that way i'm not spilling soil everywhere all right i know you might be thinking this looks a little skimpy but trust me these plants are going to double triple in size and this whole thing is going to get nice and full and probably by the time we get to October, it's gonna be spilling out with fall beauty. All right, I'm on to round two. All right, as always, when you get done planting a planter, 
Well, you give us very real quick. So as always, when you get done planting a fresh planter, the most important thing to do right after is to water it in. And then I will probably continue to keep this thing watered every couple days until these plants really get established. And even as it turns off cold, you definitely want to keep watering. Uh, not as often, but it's still a, a good idea to not let things dry out in the wintertime. Until next time, become a plant person.